Hi, I'm Mr. Parkinson. I'm going to give you a very quick guide to some iPad apps that you can use to promote some quality speaking and listening within your classroom. Now, this is going to be a very, very quick guide. So, if you want to learn more um, and want to see some examples of how I've used certain apps in the classroom, please visit my blog or my school blog, and you can follow me on Twitter at ICT underscore Mr. P. So the first app that I'm going to talk about is a numeracy app. It's an app called Talk Maths. It is available for year four, five and six and provides the children with different problem solving activities but every single one has to be solved in a pair so children have to work together and it's purposely designed to promote discussion, children using mathematical vocabulary and it's fantastic as they absolutely love working together, sharing ideas, listening to each other and it's a great way of promoting talk and discussion within numeracy lessons. The next app that I'm going to talk about is an app that I've used in numeracy but also used right across the curriculum. Um, for me it's the best presentation tool available on the iPad and the app is called Explain Everything. The reason that I like it so much is that you are able to record yourselves explaining whatever you are presenting. So for example in numeracy I set the children a calculation which I wanted them to solve using the column addition method. The children used the freehand drawing tool but then also recorded themselves explaining how to solve the problem which was great to evidence um, and for me to use for my assessments. I've also used it right across the curriculum, instruction texts in literacy, um, some science explanation videos, that sort of thing. It's an absolutely brilliant app. The next couple of apps that I'm going to talk about are great for sort of hot seating activities um, where children can really get into the role of a character, sort of interview a character and see things from a character's point of view. Um, the first one is Morpho, where you can digitalize a picture and then record yourselves talking as that character. Um, Funny Movie Maker is another one uh, where again you use a picture but you take away the mouth and use the camera on your iPad to um, film your mouth. The problem with those two apps is that you can only record for 30 seconds. iFunFace however allows you to record for as long as you want and it also allows you to record more than one character and the children absolutely love using this app. And it's a great way to promote speaking and listening where children can sort of discuss ideas possibly at the beginning of the writing process um, and I've found that uh, you know quality speaking and listening um, will always have a massive impact on the writing process so if you want to sort of understand what a character's thinking these are sort of activities that work fantastic in the classroom. Continuing the link between speaking and listening and writing from doing some work in Key Stage 1 it has made me so aware of sort of how important quality speaking and listening is in the classroom as I found if children can't verbalise and talk a story through there it is almost impossible for them to then write a story down. The next app I'm going to talk about is a great way for children to sort of talk, a st re retell a story verbally before they then uh, write it down and it's an app called Puppet Pals. Um, the app allows you to use the characters within the app or you can actually import your own characters um, by taking photos of them um, and then you can add a background, you can add up to about eight characters I think and you can record yourselves moving the characters while talking and basically uh, use it almost like a writing frame in some respects that the children can then use to re reference to when they actually come to the writing process. This can be used, I mean it's aimed sort of towards younger children but can be used right the way up to secondary, secondary school children. So in examples where uh, they use this app to retell parts of Shakespeare plays and that sort of thing. So again a fantastic app to promote some quality speaking and listening within the classroom. The last app that I'm going to mention quickly is an app called Audio Boo, which is great for sort of podcasting and things like that, but also a fantastic way for children to record themselves reading out loud and then listen back to it. You can sign up for a free account online and you can actually publish some of your audio boos online. So if you want to share the children's reading with parents at home, you can do. But it's a great way of children becoming quite independent and listening back to their own reading, um, thinking carefully about their expression. Um, and how they can improve that and actually quite a few children when I've used this will go back and reread it to try and improve, to try and make it better, to go over tricky words, that sort of thing. So they're just a few apps that I've used 
uh, and have found really useful for promoting some quality speaking and listening. I apologise if I have voiced through it, but like I say, if you want to find out more or see more examples of how I've used these apps, please check out my blog um, and school blog. Thank you very much.